So friends, why are people having trouble conceiving? Let's get into it with my good friend, Anthony Samaroff. Be here with you again. I feel extremely lucky. Um, this is our fourth show, I think, including one you did for Go Write Yourself, which is just about to surface on the internet, where we talked about writing because we're both writers. Yes, we are. We're both writers, but more importantly, mate, we're, we, we, we try our best to tell the truth, don't we? Um, That's the most important thing. Yeah. You can write all you want, but if, if it's based on vanity and uh, just uh, what, saying whatever, those, the powers that ought not to be, the powers that be that soon be powerless, um, you know, what's the, what's the point? We're, we're bringing the truth. Yes. And um, just a note on that, folks. If you're watching on a certain video platform, there's quite limitations as to what you can say. Otherwise, they just take you down. It's not us being cowardly. They just take you down, which is why Anthony and I are going to go to our locals platform um, and we're going to talk there live in a little bit. So if you're watching on, for example, YouTube, um, you're watching after the... After the fact, I'm starting to confuse things, so I'm going to sh stop going down that path. What I'm going to say, Anthony, is um, let's let's do this, and maybe we whip through it fairly quick because I think we've got yeah. a, a glitch in the Zoom. It keeps pausing slightly. Um, Does it? Okay. Well, yeah. look, so, we so don't need, we what, don't... what are we here to talk about, mate? Well, there's a fertility crisis, you know. One in six people worldwide are having trouble or failing to conceive. So you'd think that people would be going, why? Why are people having trouble having babies? But it's not, you know. They're just sending them in for mainstream treatments. I, I do a bunch of shows and sometimes I kind of like mince my words a little bit when it comes to that because you don't want to put people off and think you're against med med medicine, medication, and, you know, you moderate your tone. I don't really think I need to do that around um, your audience because they're, like, pretty wise as to what's going on with Big Pharma. By the way, people can get my free ebook from 7 com, and a couple of your listeners... Uh, Downloaded my ebook previously, I know, because they typed in, I heard you on Chris's show. So, uh, and they liked it. So, sevenpharmamyths.com, the number seven pharma is in pharmacy and myths.com. What we know is that mainstream medications don't, they don't tackle the underlying cause of disease. Um, what they do is they, they treat the symptoms sometimes. Sometimes they make the symptoms go away. Um, in the case, there's a few cases like if you've had your thyroid out, you need hormones. But hormones aren't pharmaceuticals, right? For example, that's something that the body would create naturally that you just happen to be in a deficit from. And I know that people have been stitched up by a doctor and things like that. Again, surgery is not pharmaceutical medicine. The pharmaceuticals for infertility are sort of hormonal treatments and they can cause mood swings and bleeding and IVF treatment, uh, which is invasive, artificial insemination. But what I think this doesn't account for is the intelligence of the body. The body is going, look, I'm not actually in a place to bring life into the world at the moment or, you know, or actually 50% of the time it's the man, the sperm counts down. So even if you succeed in artificial insemination or IVF, you're basically committing a sort of act of violence on the body where you're going, let me force you. I'm going to force you to have a baby. I'm going to, and that's, and that's the, and that's the medical model. Um, I should, I mean, I should add that IVF treatment costs ten to twenty five thousand dollars. So and it's only effective twenty to thirty percent of the time. So people could have to do this two, three, four times. They get their hopes up, they're so excited, and then it doesn't work. And they and that I mean, 
that's a tremendous toll on the bank balance, not to mention an emotional toll psychologically on a couple who just want to have a baby. And, uh, you know, sex becomes just about conceiving. It's no longer about intimacy anymore. It affects the relationship. A large percentage of divorces um, happen around infertility. Yes. Um, friends at home, apologies. We, have, we, we had a bit of a technical glitch. We've had to change applications. So, Anthony, if you remember where you were, over to you. Yeah. So IVF can cost ten to $25,000 and only has a 20 to 30% success rate. And again, this is because they're trying to for force the body to conceive. They're not really addressing the underlying cause because um, the body has an intelligence to it. It knows what it's doing. And it also has an agenda. It has priorities. And um, we're kind of trying to, as in the, in the, pharmaceutical realm they're using drugs like uh, clomid which has which is you know a hormonal drug um that that causes mood swings and bleeding and some and it's not for everyone and then you've got this ivf and artificial insemination which only works some of the time and you know it just creates a tremendous emotional toll on people yes i mean the whole process is un, un unpleasant what is so what is your workshop aiming to do what what are you exploring there all right yeah so we we're we've got a retreat in mexico april 7th to may to the end of to the end of may and we're hoping people who, who are suffering from this problem can come for two three four as 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 long as they can weeks because what we're what we're going to do is tackle what i believe to be the you know, five, let's say, major contributing factors. First of all, we need to talk about toxicity, okay? Blood samples from newborns have been shown to contain an average of 287 toxic chemicals, ranging from mercury to toxic plastic compounds, Teflon, food additives, pesticides. Microplastics were found in 100% of placentas in one study. So... Our, when you look at what's happening here, our children are sicker than ever. More people are suffering from diabetes, cancer, colitis, chronic fatigue, ME, lupus, multiple sclerosis, all this stuff. The kids have got ADHD, ADD, autism, insomnia, bad skin. So even if you go and get IVF treatment, right, and you succeed, how horrible is that? You spent all that money. You couldn't, you couldn't have a baby. You were depressed. You went for IVF, it didn't work the first time, you go again, it works, and then you have a baby that's represented in these chronic disease statistics. What I'm trying to say is people are getting infertile for the same reason that they're getting all of these other diseases, okay? So it's about the underlying condition of the body at the cellular level. Healthy cells create healthy tissues, healthy tissues create healthy organs, healthy organs create a healthy body and the healthy bodies can conceive. Otherwise we wouldn't be here. Right. So what we're, I can go into detox in a lot more detail. You and I have fasted, but just the, the basics, right? So all of your cells eat, br sleep, breathe, poop, just the way that you do by eating the wrong food all of the time, you get a uh, excess of cell poop. And that attracts fungus, mold, bacteria, whatever. They, they come in to eat your cellular waste. This is a cause of disease, in my opinion. But in addition to that, we've got all the microplastics. We've got the heavy metals. So there's one protocol for helping you remove cellular waste, which is our natural. But then when you look at these synthetic chemicals we're letting into our food supply, the body was not evolved with these things. Um, these things do not occur in the natural environment. So the body has a harder time removing them. That's why extra support is needed to start reversing these diseases that we're seeing becoming more and more because I believe the toxicity is implicated as one of the causes. Secondly, we've got nutritional deficiencies. Every so, every so often you see a, 
an article in a mainstream paper saying you'd have to eat 14 times as many carrots to get the same mineral content as when your your grandparents were alive or something like that. So that's another thing. Plus, we're putting pesticides in the soil and on the crops, which kills the microorganisms in the soil that are meant to pre-digest the minerals so that the plant can absorb them. So there's nutritional deficiencies. And those go hand in hand with detox, with the toxicity because you need nutrients to detoxify your body and if your bo if your cells are full of waste or full of toxins they can't easily admit nutrients then there's like an energetic flow to the cells so on a retreat we've got acupuncture chinese medicine there's a blood flow to the cell so all of that stuff restores blood flow to the organs and um, it restores the energetic flow the chi if you will if you believe in that stuff um, then there's the psychological, this massive, massive fa factor in infertility is the stress. So you get away, we're, we're on a beach resort, we're in a beach resort in Mexico, and you can just relax for a while, everything's taken care of you, people will serve you juices, people will serve you organic meals, and we've got, we're in partnership with a local farmer who's organic. And then um, there's the community aspect, because a lot of times when people are facing this problem, their friends and family really don't understand what it's like to go through the problem, and they ask well-meaning questions, and they, 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 they say make comments, but people actually find it very hurtful. So those are the things I would say are the major contributing factors that we're trying to get in ahead of and remove from people so that they'll hopefully have the opportunity to get their body from below the level where it feels like it can conceive to above that threshold and you know also turn back the tide on this chronic illness of bung children because what in my opinion the reason why this is happening is each generation of cells you get a new you get a new body seven every seven years but not necessarily a better one so your cells are constantly renewing themselves every day but are they stronger, better cells or weaker cells? And what we're doing is we're passing on our toxic, malnourished cells to our offspring. And that's why children are getting sicker and sicker. And then, you know, we're sending them for procedures and things that exacerbate the, the problem. Yes. I mean, when it comes to children's health, um, I'm just going to say this and let's let's just move on. Friends at home, there's clearly an obvious elephant in the room. I know it because I know children are affected by it. So there's nobody that can tell me, oh, that's some conspiracy. No, it's not. It's fine for you to say that because you've not been affected by it. But when you see the amount of people. Um, so, yes. You know, we, we are faced by an an evil class of people, Anthony, that are in charge of all this stuff, and they just are. I don't know why they're so satanic, um, why they, they want to profit from people's misery. Um, I can only guess that it's, it's, a prod, it, it's a bit of nature, maybe being born psychopathic, sociopathic. Um, and it's probably nurture being born into one of these, you know, I'm just going to use the word elitist. It's not an appropriate word, but probably parasitic is probably a better word. These parasitic networks that go back through years and years and years. And I think it's time people started waking up to see they control everything. And one of the things they control hugely is um, the medical community. Absolutely. It's and, so and, controlled. And the factories that produce, you know, let's just say certain things, um, et cetera, et, 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 et cetera. And it's not until it affects you personally that you, you kind of get the wake-up call, but then it's too late. So... Anthony, we I just wanted yeah. to cut, cover the elephant in the room, but can we right. go can we go back to cells because there's something else here and 
I don't mind to go a little bit deep here because we have a very varied audience and it's not rocket science to grasp. I was showing um, I was showing a slide there that I knocked up. Now you got to remember, Anthony, I'm a thick ex-Marine. I'm not, you know, I, I've worked all this out for myself and I put this diagram together. Um, I'm just going to chop our heads off slightly. I just put this diagram together so that people who have no clue about health can understand how this thing here, which is called a cell, works. And a cell, it, it has incent, essential ingredients it needs. It needs air, water, glucose, which comes from your food and is absorbed through the gut into the bloodstream. But it needs glucose at a certain level on the glycemic index. And Western diet, well, global diet now, this this fixation and addiction to carbohydrates really spikes that glucose. And as a result, it flushes the body with acid, which then stays in you, stays in your tissues. Um, you've got to have I mean, a... To be clear, like, it's, it's the simple carbohydrates, in other words, white flour and white sugar, not like you know, the sugar that you find in a fruit, in a fully formed fruit, that's good for you. You know, eating a fruit well, is good I, for I you. Well, I'm going to disagree with you. Um, the modern fruit is massively high fructose rate. Fructose is sugar. If we're talking right. bla blackberries in the nature, you know, um, Swedish bloody snowberries or whatever, that, yeah, yeah, that's all like natural. But what you get in the greengrocer is a hybrid fruit that's been bred to have a massive sugar content to taste nice. Okay, we could, right, we could talk. There's nothing, there's no plant, there's no plant or animal in nature which hasn't been selectively bred. bred. The, the peg, when, before, before we had the kind of pegs that they're feeding people now, those were just like wild boars. They were lean. They've been selectively bred to be docile and to have way, way, way more fat in the bone. So nothing... Mm -hmm. Um, th there's really nothing you can get in terms of food wise that is as it was found to be in nature. I mean, we might disagree on the fruit thing. I've been around people who've subsisted on almost entirely fruit and they're like incredibly remarkably healthy. They've uh, reversed diseases on a fruitarian diet and things like that. I'm not saying that's a long term solution. And I don't think people should probably eat nothing but fruit for 10 or 20 years. But um, I've seen like massive reversals of, on di of disease on fruit and juices. Yeah, I got to yeah, come in there. Good. I got to come in there, Anthony. So it doesn't matter what people eat. What matters? Right. What matters is their pH level. Interesting. And I tell you why, and this is why I'm showing the diagram, is because your body is essentially both a battery and a crystal. So it's right. a it's a source of power. And it's also a receiver for this energy, this chi that you, you talk about, the, the quantum energy that pervades life because life is, comes from that energy field. And if you don't get these things right, what happens is your pH suffers and anyone who knows anything about batteries knows, you know, you get uh, batteries are all about acid and alkaline and they've got to be right. The same as your pot plant in your front room. It's got to be right. If you don't get the pH balance right, say goodbye to your pot plant. And right. hum human beings are no different. And it's not until that um, we get a healthy cellular function that the electric signals that essentially are created by our, our pumping heart, pumping ionized um, blood around a system, iron as in like the metal, which is like a generator which creates the electricity. That electricity then passes, um, it's programmed, I'm guessing, by your DNA to pass through every single cell in your body carrying signals to tell the next generation of cells how to reproduce. And this is why when people get into their 50s and 60s and they, their body's so acidic that the these Oh, you might have to turn your volume down, Anthony. We got a bit of feedback. Um, but we get into our 50s and 60s and the bodies become so toxic and so acidic that these signals can't pass. 
Um, and then we end up with, you, you know, I'm not going to say the name of the big disease because I'll probably get the platform for not being a doctor, but people can see, you know, if cells right. can't, now the reason I'm mentioning it is I'm, I'm backing up what you said, Anthony, you know, I know is, is it, it's, that, a, it's absolutely an alkaline diet that we are, we are going to be serving on the detox retreat. Yes. I mean, I get a lot of people say to me, well, it's just about eat meat, Chris, eat meat. I say, look, eat, you eat what you want. That's not the issue. The issue is if you're acidic, you've got to get real because your body is acidic. It, it, it just is. And if you think running your acidic blood through your beautiful system for 50 years is not going to do you harm, well, just, you know, go and look at your dental record. It will probably speak probably speak for you um and the reason i mention it, anthony is it just ties in with what you're saying with uh, you know if you're trying to conceive and your body cells can't even talk to each other properly because because the electric signals can't pass then i'm not saying that this is you know the sole cause or whatever what i'm saying is is i doubt very much doctors are having this conversation that we're having now, right? No, they're not. And not only that, I know people who've reversed diseases they were told incurable, like colitis, using a program such as the one that we're running mm. in our retreat. And they go, not only do they go, to, one, of, one friend of mine, you might actually like to get him on his show, on your show. First, his doctor would say, how come you're getting better and all my patients are getting sicker? And he'd say, well, that's because I'm not taking your poison medications, doctor. Ha, 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 ha. One day he comes in and the doctor said, right, let's get real here. Off the record, I totally support what you're doing. It obviously works, but I can't tell my patients that who have colitis because I'm liable. And I can have my license taken away. So, one, a lot of the curious doctors just, first of all, don't, they don't even make it through the system. Because being, being training to be a doctor is very grueling. 10 to 11 years, you get in debt, you get these big long placements, 70, 80, 90, 110 hours a week. And you um, don't shower. You, you, and then at the end of that, you're like, I've done all this work for nothing. I want to make some money now. I want a second house, um, et cetera, et cetera. So then if you are, even if you are curious and you're in the mainstream medical system, you can't, you're not legally allowed to prescribe anything except for surgery and pharmaceuticals. So, so it's bet people feel like it's better if they don't know, you know, what use is it to them? So, the, the most common response I've heard people from people who are curing disease from their doctors is the doctor just goes, well, you know, just keep whatever you're doing is working. Just keep on doing it. You know, just keep on doing whatever you're doing. That's great. No curiosity. No, how are you doing that? You know? Yeah, well, it, 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 exactly. It's, um, you know, we... We're just miles away, Anthony, from peak health. Um, it's interesting. The reason I got into this, when I left the Marines, I used the money that they give you. They give you about £3,000 to retrain. I went to mm -hmm. see Anthony Robbins, the American sort of life, right. co life coach guru. Yeah. And on the first night, they taught us the firewalk, which is something I, I can still do. Um, and then the next day was about diet. And I learned stuff on that that nobody ever told you. For example, that whey powder is the toxic byproduct of, of the cheese, the dairy industry. The whey that they put in bodybuilders' drinks, that, yeah. that, that, that it shouldn't be anywhere near the human body, for example. And, and then Anthony had this uh, philosophy, he only ate fruit. And I thought, wow, that's that's kind of like pretty cool. And the only Anthony food... Anthony Robbins. Yeah. The, yeah. The, uh, bear with me. The only food that was served 
at this weekend was a big buffet down the middle of the room full of bananas and apples and oranges. Da, 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 da. Anyway, fast forward 10 years and I'm listening to Anthony Robbins speak to someone in an interview. Uh, no, Dr. Robert Young, who's a doctor I met, who yeah. wrote this book, which is... He's amazing, yeah. Absolute must, okay? Absolute. Yeah, he's, ama he's amazing, Dr. Robert Young. Yeah. yeah, he's. I've met him. I think he's actually been put in prison twice for, for the work that, that he does. Um, when you look at the last three years, you can understand why they try and silence silence the, the true speakers. Well... He was a, he hooked up with Anthony Robbins because Robert Young is the leading guy in his 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 field of microbiotics and and Anthony Robbins said, "Listen, uh, you know, I've got a confession to make. I'm 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 chronically unwell. I've got mm. um I've got this. Is it candida? Like an overgrowth yeah. growth of fungus in my intestines and." Dr. Rob, Robert said, well, you know, what What do you eat on a typical day? So, well, I only eat fruit. Boom. You're basically consisting on, sh on fructose, which is sugar. And from that moment on, Anthony Robbins has gone on the green diet. <laughs> Base, basically is what I'm... That's very interesting. What I'm trying so, to say. And this is why all my people that I live coach... We're all on this stuff, super greens, you know, this mm. this makes up for the lack of chlorophyll in our diet. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. Like, I have 10 spirulina every day and 10 chlorella before bed every day, mm. a ritual. The, 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 they've got so many, they're, they're miracles, really. I mean, if you think about it, the fact that one of them's protein-based, the other one's fat-based... One of them's water soluble, the other one's fat soluble. Like, it's almost like God created these two algae, spirulina and chlorella, to be complementary but different. They they each meet these different needs for the body, and that's how I'm getting my chlorophyll in every single day. Every single day. Good, good. Yes, chlorophyll will be an ingredient um, in the super greens I just showed you. Stuff like wheat grass. It's one spoon of that powder is the equivalent of having six portions of broccoli. Right. Um, and what it does, it allows you then, say, you know, if you insist on steak and chips every evening, okay, you know, some people are very, you know, find it hard to break the program, you could say. Um, what that does is it offsets the acid that the... That the regular cuisine creates in your body if um like i say if that makes <laughs> if that it, make, it makes, totally sense. makes sense but but i want to get back to the fertilization thing because my, my whole point wasn't to talk about diet it was just to talk about most people that's don't... one of the things that's one of the major things we address on the retreat so it's worth talking about diet mm. but most people I mean... don't even understand how a cell functions because you're never taught you're never taught it you're never taught the importance of this electrical signal that passes between them yeah so another thing is you know these like i said i said a lot about environmental toxins chlorella has the additive added benefit of bonding with toxins and taking them out of the body it's interesting because remember there was this big meme about um Alex Jones saying they're turning the frogs gay. Well, I don't know if that's quite accurate, but atrazine is an endocrine disruptor that's been found in our water supply. And they showed in studies that it chemically castrates male frogs and it even turns 10% of them into fully viable females who are able to produce eggs. And, and that's found in the municipal water supplies. So, um, I mean, in small doses, but it's like, the, this is like kind of so many toxic chemicals are found in small doses. They're um, they're taking a toll on the body. Just recently, Chloramaquat, um, uh, Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Epidemiology, reported just last month that this 
chemical known to cause infertility was found in 80% of Americans tested. So these are like, you, if you go far enough, you'll find mainstream sources are admitting this all. Okay. But you just need to put them together in one place. If you present any of these facts independently, one at a time, sure, yeah, I could believe that. But if you present all of the facts together, suddenly you're a, a conspiracy theorist because you just said this one thing was reported in this one place, this one thing was reported in this other place. And if you put them all together, it looks pretty freaking um, convincing. You know, it looks pretty damning for the mainstream system. So we're kind of at the point where we each need to take our health into our own hands because um, the mainstream system is poisoning us, poisoning us. Because I believe we're suffering from inter intergenerational cellular toxicity, coming on a detox retreat such as the one that we're planning is not just... Um, well, I mean, you're basically turning the tide back on this onslaught on humanity, you're going to become a living example of the kind of thing that um, that is cap that a human being is capable of. You're going to start showing people, like I mentioned this before, I used to have eczema, psoriasis, blotching on my chest, dandruff, I had um, um, leaky gut, I was intolerant of gluten and dairy, I uh, had bouts of anxiety and depression. I reversed, I don't have those symptoms anymore through protocols like this. So I know from first-hand experience that healing is possible. Most people don't even know that. Can you, but you can, you, yeah. Can you tell us why is pine pollen um, getting touted quite a lot as a good, as a good uh, detoxer for, for the body. Well, I mean, I don't know a lot about pine pollen, but I know that people are saying pine pollen in general is good for you, especially that's locally sourced for allergies and things like that. And it's got natural antibiotic qualities. So the specific reasons for pine pollen in particular, that's a pretty good tongue twister. Pine pollen in particular. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say I can't say I actually know. Yeah, but no, I just I just wondered because you know, there's somebody I love that's still suffering the effects of, uh, let's just say, a certain thing. And um, it's not. Yeah, and, and I just wondered if if there's heavy metals lodged in the brain somewhere. What? what right. The, what, yeah. And, and we have protocols for, for that as well. You know, um, the, you know, Brown's gas machines and we have them um, and we have protocols that involve. Um, taking chelators that can bond to heavy metals and taking them out of the body. What are they? Um, well, there's a, um, I mean, chlorella what? is one, but you need to take it in large doses. There's, um, if you go Tim O'Shea, um, the doctor with N.com, uh, he does a really good supplement um, chelator. I'm trying to remember what it's called now. Um he put it together based on several products. You know, you, you, um, there's things that you can use like zeolites and things like that, but they, they take good things out as well as the bad things. So you need to be measured with these uh, protocols and then, um, you know, go intensely and make sure you're, you're replacing your minerals and things like that. So um, let me see if I can find out the name of that uh, supplement. Uh, phase two. As he's called it. That's nice and simple. Oral curation. And yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to get it, then you can get together with some friends because I think um, he does an offer where if you if you order six at once or more than that, you get them at a wholesale price. Um, get a big supply and yeah, and, and you know, we use a probiotics as well to to very select very select brands, you know, to re replenish the gut bacteria, which has been um, affected badly under the onslaught of chemicals and things like that, that are, there, there's so much we could do to improve the function of the body. The thing is, everything takes time and money. 
And the, the great thing about coming to a retreat is it's all organized. You don't need to spend hundreds of th or thousands as I have hours studying this stuff to know everything. It's all um, it's all organized. And on that note then, Anthony, I, I will wish you well. We're going to put the links where people can contact you if they want to inquire about this retreat. Um, I know that they'll be able to have a chat with you on the phone or Zoom or what, whatever, work, right. whatever works best. Um, and um, I'd love for you to come back on the show and let us know how it all went. That would be awesome. So, yeah, I mean, guys, go to youcanconceiveit.com. Youcanconceiveit.com. I mean, we're pretty lucky to have got that URL, quite frankly. It's a pretty cool URL. Youcanconceiveit.com. And if you want my free ebook, that's sevenpharmamyths.com. And uh, those are the, really the only links you need for now. I'm pretty easy to find if you want to message me. Yes, absolutely. Um and I was just going to say for anyone that wanted to check out the PH Miracle by Dr. Robert Young, if you go to my Amazon shop, there's a uh, there's a little link in the description somewhere down there, folks. All the books I recommend and the green powder, Nutribullet, PH strips, etc. I do get a little kickback if you if you um, purchase something. I can tell you now, I don't think i'm going to retire on that <laughs> any yeah, and well. any to any time soon but i'm legally obliged to uh to tell you so anthony come back and see us yeah yeah that would be great thank you so much for inviting me chris i always love doing your show absolutely and we love having you on just please stay on the line while i while i uh while i play us out Just die.